Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. And today, this is attempt number two for this video, by the way. Here is Kyle Busch and his 2023 net spend Chevrolet Camaro Z01 number eight for Richard Childress Racing. So another great Kyle Busch uh, diecast from the RCR number eight era that started this year in 2023. We have a very, very cool alternate paint scheme right here for Kyle Busch. This is the Net Spend Chevrolet. A very cool paint scheme. Another extremely good looking Kyle Busch die cast for all you Kyle Busch fans out there. It's a really cool looking die cast. Cool looking colors on this paint scheme. And another great Kyle Busch. Just another great Kyle Busch RCR die cast in general. We've seen some really cool paint schemes from Kyle Busch this year. And this is definitely one of the top contenders, this Netspend Chevrolet, which looks very cool. So we're going to take this one out of the box and get ready to review it. So here it is, out of the box for the second time. Now that my camera, that I, my camera is finally up to spec, it's fully full of battery, and we're getting ready to do this die cast review, finally, correctly. So here it is, out of the box. And let's have ourselves a good die cast review of this Netspend Chevrolet Camaro. So here's the front of this thing. You have number 8 RCR. You have the Chevrolet Camaro Z on one front end, which looks pretty good. No severe decal issues on that. On the hood right here, you have ZL1, ZL1 Netspend. And of course, the E in Netspend looks a little funky there because of the decal package. Uh, you have Bush right there and the gold Chevrolet banner. You have Sunoco, a paint chip right there under the, under the splitter. You have yellow Goodyears on the wheels with dark gray rims. You have a white Goodyear print on the front wheel wells, the front fenders. You have NASCAR Cup Series, the 75th anniversary logo for NASCAR. You have number 8, Rowdy. You got Chevrolet, Lucas. You got, let's see, Sherwin Williams, PTC, Cometic, and KCMG, if this camera can focus in on this car. You have Osco uniforms, Bet MGM. You have the big slanted net spend logo on the side to fit the new number placement with the number eight. You got Cheddar Scratch Kitchen on the rear quarter panel right there, which looks pretty cool. Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, which is a pretty cool die cast on its own. You got a paint chip right there, bam, right in the corner of the spoiler. That's wonderful. You have Chevrolet Net Spend Okuma number eight Camaro ZL1. Giant black spoiler on this thing. You have net spend, bush, and of course net spend again on the roof of this car. So now it's time for the paint scheme. They spray painted this car with a base coat of what looks to be a pretty interesting shade of blue. It almost looks like a petty blue style paint scheme, honestly. It looks like it could be the petty blue color, but a slightly different version of that color but nonetheless it is a light blue backdrop so for the number of this car on the roof it's a yellow outline a bit of a shadow behind it as well the yellow outline which is the thickest outline a thin orange outline with a white number fill-in with some silver accenting to it which looks super cool on the doors of this car you have a orange outline and a white number fill-in with the chrome outline to it or just a little accenting to it and a bit of a dark, a darker color behind the entire number eight. It's just by the way the decal was put on. But it could be actually like that on the real car. But let's just zoom in on the entire car so we could just see some of those details more. So here's the number eight. Actually, it kind of looks like a light brown, like a dark brown outline to it behind the orange of the number. Same up here as well, but it's really, really subtle. But now for the paint scheme itself, you're going to have the black splitter up front, the black roof rails, and the black spoiler on this thing. So on the front of it, you're going to have a orange, a thick orange stripe with a yellow, like a yellow orange outline. It's more on the like orangey side and on in real life, the camera just kind of makes the colors brighter, slightly brighter and slightly darker in some areas, just the way this camera is. So on the front of it, you're going to have a subtle like light orange on the top with a thick orange dark orange stripe on the front valence it's going to be evenly spaced between another stripe that wraps under the oem details so the orange is going to wrap under the headlights a bit over the grill up to the middle portion and it's going to have a thin 
dark blue outline with a white um, outline as well on it. And on the top, on top of the orange stripe, you're gonna have another bit of that brighter orange shade on top right there. So it's gonna wrap all the way on the front like that. And that stripe is gonna continue onto the side as well as the other stripe. So both of these stripes are gonna continue onto the side. So the stripe that was on the valence is gonna go through the wheel well. Both stripes are gonna go through the wheel well. If this camera can focus. Um, so you can see the upper um, stripe. It's gonna be right behind the Goodyear and the little NASCAR contingencies right there, the two little logos. The stripe with the orange, the light orange, the dark orange, the white and the darker light blue color. That stripe is going to poke over the wheel well, go over the side decals right there. It's going to go over a bit over the number eight. It kind of touches it a little bit, but not too bad. Goes over the white net spend box logo right there. It's going to go through the rear quarter windows and it's going to stop right at the back window and at the deck lid right there. That's how that stripe is going to wrap on. And the lower stripe is going to wrap, it's going to pretty much go across the bottom section of the car right there and it's going to wrap nicely underneath the net spend white box logo right there just the way it's angled off and swooped right there it kind of fits it perfectly and it's got a bit of a thin like the blue kind of goes through right here between the stripes same thing down here and what I like about it is, is that the contingency sponsors, the Bet MGM All Skin Uniforms and what would have been a 3 Chi logo, presumably, and then of course the Cheddar's logo, these contingencies are nicely framed by the design itself. So you could still see the light blue that was on the rest of the car, but the stripe is going to wrap nicely over it. And of course, if you're going to have the black side skirts or the sides of the underbody because the uh, side markers are attached to the underbody on the real car, it's just black right there. And of course, cannot forget to mention, of course, that white box that's behind the net spend logo. Of course, it's framing the logo pretty nicely. Um, it doesn't go all the way across the side. It stops a little bit before the eight. The white is going to go from the side where it has net spend behind the net spend logo and onto the deck lid right there. It's going to be all white. And the back is going to be all that petty blue, um, light blue color. And the top of it, you're going to go to the roof. It's just going to be all light blue. And on the hood of this thing, uh, the final touch that I'm going to point out, the hood of it, see, as you guys can see, the hood is painted white. And the white does not wrap anywhere else but on the hood. So it kind of takes the shape of the Chevrolet Camaro hood right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, you get to see the design or the shape of the hood because they just painted it that portion of the body in white and you can see how the hood looks which is super cool I like how it's white there it kind of balances everything out would have been too much blue if they made the net spin logo white and then made the whole hood blue so I'm really glad that they balanced it out with some of the white even on the sides as well they could have made this logo white and did everything else blue but no they actually put some white on this car to make their logo stand out which is what I really like about this car it's balanced out really nice with especially with the color choices and of course the hood vents can't forget to mention that the way the hood vents kind of they're not as intrusive because their logo is pretty simple so just the e the ne and the nb are slightly cut off i mean they're not really cut off they just are warped by the hood vents but nonetheless it still looks cool the hood looks pretty nice of course the right side is the same as the left and now it's time for the 360 view slash close-ups so here's the front of this car as I'm talking here, obviously, this is a really, really cool die cast. I like this one. This is definitely my second favorite Kyle Busch car. I definitely say my most favorite. Uh, my top favorite Kyle Busch die cast from 2023 is definitely the Lucas uh, Auto Club win. That paint scheme is super nice, and the race version detail was spot on. But man, the paint scheme itself, it was a simple car, but it was extremely nice. And this one is just as nice as that one. Um, if not better, speed objective. It is a slightly better design, but man, I still like that Lucas car a lot. But you can't deny it, this car has great colors. The color scheme looks extremely good. It's going to look super nice in your stop motion series if you guys ever have one or make one. This is definitely going to be a standout paint scheme for Kyle Busch. I loved seeing this car at Coda and a few of the other tracks, and I believe, I could be wrong, 
I remember this being one of the first paint schemes he had, because you guys remember when he was testing at Coda, he chose, or they chose to give him the Netspend car. So correct me if I'm wrong, this may be the first Kyle Busch next-gen paint scheme that he's ever ran. Please correct me in the comments down below, but that's the way I kind of remember it. I remember this being on, on the track, testing at Coda, and then of course it ran the actual Coda race itself, and I believe a few other races. I could be wrong, but the most notable location for this car is Coda. But yeah, very cool diecast nonetheless. So if you're a Kyle Busch collector, definitely get your hands on this one in the Gold Series. I'm not sure what's going to happen to the Authentics one, or if we're even going to get the Authentics one. If we do get the Authentics one... Get it if it has the clear graphics, not the blurry one, not the blurry ones. Ooh, I almost screwed up that sentence right there. Make sure you guys get the one with the clear graphics, not the blurry ones. And definitely don't get it if it's on the PTC mold. I really hope this car is more accessible. I hope it's got high quality and all the, the um all the lines of the die cast, the authentics and the gold series, because in my opinion, this is a really good car, and I feel like it would sell a lot. This is a fantastic, beautiful-looking 8 car. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the review of Kyle Busch's 2023 Netspend Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 number 8 for Richard Childress Racing. Beautiful car, one of my favorite... Ooh, look how the wheel looks. There's like a piece of plastic hanging from the wheel right there. Ugh. Lino quality. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful car. If I had to give this car a rating, I usually don't give out ratings, but man, this would definitely be a 9.5 or a 10 out of 10. For a fair rating, I would probably give it a 9.5, so we're not throwing 10 out of 10s everywhere on all the cars, but yeah, highly recommended. Thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals in your diecast, and stay tuned for more videos here on Project 94.